Christian Clark. We, we definitely will talk again soon. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> oh, Dr. Clark. 25 billion. We need to answer that. Um, the other thing that I want to find out from you, I, I want to say to you, you seem, S-E-E-E-E-E-M-M-M-M-M with about a million M, you seem to be of a good natured person. Therefore, I am urging you, I am imploring you, not to allow that seeming goodness to be corrupted the word seem is used why because i have no proof i've not seen anything otherwise but you see if you fail to follow the advice that i'm giving you and you allow yourself or whatever good you may have and intentions you may have to be corrupted you'll be judged and you'll feel the fire so, please do what is right and do the good thing. And do not allow yourself to be corrupted by the government that you are now working for. Okay? Um, corruption has been almost like a staple since this government is in office. And do I mean that the government before you was not corrupt? No, I don't mean that. Um, they have lost their way also. The issue is just that one of you is Wasara. So one was and one Wasara. Um, you have a brain, Dr. Nigel Clark. You can determine which party is Wasara. But since this government has taken over and they are in authority um, corruption has become a staple in, in the Jamaican way of life from a political standpoint is the masses of Jamaicans corrupt? No is the masses of Jamaicans wicked? No um, they are not so I'm just saying to you that whatever good intentions you may have and that you enter into politics with, do not lose that. Preserve it with all efforts, with all of your might. Do not take any money from external forces to keep our people in poverty and in destruction. Put the Jamaican people first just the very same way you would put your mother your father and your family first I'm Dr. Black for this time by Kimani Baba Tunde I am able to speak to you like this because I am a Jamaican and I am an individual who loves to see things go in the proper order I love to see my people living in love. I, 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 I don't like to see our people suffer. All right? Um, I have no hatred in I for no one. But I know how to speak truth to power and power to truth. I have no respect in I for one life over another life. All right? So all life are, are all lives are great. Our lives, all lives are great. I'm sure the peeps of the teachers of English language would want to see me speak in a certain way, but it's not an English class too. While we respect that. Um, but the primary thing is to make the people understand what we're saying. So watch out. Um, I have no respect for any politician who takes counsel against our people to sell out our people alright 
I have no respect for any politician whatsoever who are into corruption. Um, and I am not into hero worshipping. So I don't work with status. Every life, listen carefully now, every life that is not involved into criminality, drugs and gang running and raping of our sisters, and in some cases our brothers too, um, all those lives are valued. Weapon. Yeah? So I'm not someone who is into status. So I don't, I will never use the term honorable to any politician. Follow this closely. You cannot be honorable if you are in charge of an office or you're in authority to oversee the affairs of the country and so many people are suffering and when our, the lives of our Jamaican nationals are being lost, when, when the lives of our, our dark-skinned people are, are, have been lost, I, I can't see how one could claim the title, honorable. The only time you can be honorable is when you are free from corruption, you respect all life, you put all things in place, to facilitate greater growth and development of our people. You don't have no preference for people from uptown and you hate the people from downtown, don't worry that way. Or you love people from in town and you hate the people from out of town. So, Dr. Clark, this video will be posted soon. And please, you must provide the answers, okay, sir? And listen carefully to the message. None of this came over with any hatred. So the fire have to turn up. So if it burns a little, it will cool. But no hatred. Let's answer this question, alright? Maximum respects up in life, up in earth. Um, thanks to all the peeps who tuned in and who listened in. Um, we want to say big ups to all good school principals um i don't know all of your names so i'm not able to call it but um you know what you have been doing you know that there is some good happening in st thomas you know that there is some good happening in st anne in terms of some of the schools um so just just keep doing good right across um you know and if you're a principal don't sit and watch another principal doing good and then get a bad mind from that or a bad brain. Um, implement things within your organization too. Um, you know, I often heard principals lamenting about school, other school football program. What is stopping you from implementing the same in your institution? Think on that, all right? So Dr. Nigel Clark, respect, yeah? Um, thanks to our viewers as always. Thanks to the peeps for watching. Um, if you don't agree with anything I just said, that's quite fine too. Still respect and we still love the people. So, till the next time. Up in life, up in earth. Abiud. The door. Yeah. Abiud. The door. Abid Gador. White power. White power. White power. Oh.